Hey, this is David the Shepherd School, and today we're going to do a little canning. We're going to do sliced jalapeno uh, pickled peppers. And we're not going to use any kind of spices, just basically the vinegar and the peppers and a water bath canner, because we're going to use these peppers in other recipes throughout the year, and I don't want to have any spices. It's not like we're going to use them as a condiment, whatever, um, sandwiches or, or nachos or whatever. So we're going to admit the garlic and all the stuff you normally put in there. Now we're able to water bath can the peppers because we're pickling them, because the acidity of the vinegar keeps botulism uh, from making its spores, kills the botulism bacteria. If we were just going to can peppers, we have to use a pressure canner. And because we're pickling them, we can use a water bath canner. All right, so to start out, I just got a bowl here, and I've got about two pounds of peppers. Got them on sale. They were like a dollar a pound. They, I, my recipe called for eight pounds, but I didn't have. They didn't have eight pounds that were uh, um, not going bad. They only had about two pounds that were any good. So all we're going to do is just slice them up, and we're not going to mess with the little head there, okay? We're just going to throw them in a bowl. I would recommend that you wear some sort of disposable latex gloves or surgical gloves when you do this. seems like every time I do this and I get helpers, I say, don't touch your face till you wash your hands, and nobody listens, and then I have to deal with people uh, crying because they got pepper sprayed. Last time it was my 11 year old nephew and that did make me feel a little bit bad instead of just throwing them in there normally number one I like it that way but number two the uh, vinegar can't really penetrate this uh, waxy skin of the pepper and if I wanted to put hole I'd have to cut slits or poke holes or um, you know take the skin off by um, browning it a little bit and that's just too much work, so we're just going to slice them. Okay, here's my two pounds of washed and sliced peppers. Okay, and like I said before, my recipe called for eight pounds of peppers. And so my, my mix is for eight pounds. And so I'm going to show you a trick to, uh, to improvise a little bit. Now basically, it's uh, half and half vinegar and water for the pickling mix. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill my, uh, my jars up to where I want them to be. Then I'm going to add water. Okay. Then I'm just going to pour the water out into a measuring bowl. Pour out half, add vinegar, heat that up, and that's going to be my pickling mix. So one and a half liters or six cups. So I'm gonna pour off three cups. And then add that back in vinegar. And I'm just going to heat that up to boil it. So let me just tell you, if you do it with this method where you add the water and you pour it out, and you measure half, you, uh, you've, you've touched the outside of the rim, you got a lot of juice on the outside of the rim of the jar, so you have to be real careful to re-clean that back off. 
right? And you want to keep everything, you know, as, as clean as possible. Okay, so off camera, we heated these jars up and filled them up. And the reason it was off camera is I thought I was recording, but I was not. And just to be honest, to show a little disclaimer, if you look real close at the screen, you can see a couple of these jars have darker colored pickles at the very top, peppers, pickled peppers. That's because I had a half eaten jar, actually two half eaten jars, and my OCD kind of kicked in, and I wanted to consolidate everything. Because I got a pet peeve about opening up a jar before another jar is empty. Same way as if I go to the range, I won't leave till I've shot up the entire box that I left with. Because I don't want to have a 50 round box with 20 bullets in it. All or nothing, baby, all or nothing. Okay, so. Well, my OCD's kicking in about that dirty kitchen in there. So anyway, now we're just going to put them in our canner. Okay, so there's our uh, jars in the pressure canner. And like I said before, we're just going to process it to the right uh, time for the altitude and the size of the jar, okay? And I'll post the, uh, the actual times when I put the recipe on the, uh, on the blog, okay? So if you want to know that, just look on the... Uh, blog post. Okay, so here's my finished peppers and I'm doing better because every one of these sealed. Okay, so I'm just going to put uh, 12 on the top so I know that I did it this year and uh, probably keep one up here and the rest of them I'm going to go put down with the food storage. So really that's all there is to it to pickle peppers or pick, pickle sliced peppers. So uh, until next time you can always get some online at www.tngun.com.